sometimes you know sometimes um, we feel that we lack of power in the in the in the performance not even because the sound was uh, soft um, sound might might be loud enough but something you know inside you feel that student is lacking something inside so <laughs> Um, this whole approach is just what you need to get it fixed. Hello everybody, this is Emma and today we're going to talk about how to play with expressive, powerful, bold tone. And the approach I'll show in this video will work with everything in your repertoire. Um, everything that needs rich, full, uh, deep tone. <laughs> understand this principle of playing uh, using this simple exercise. And again, as soon as you master it, you can go on and use it in any piece you want. So, um, you might make everything absolutely right in your external movement. Your elbows, your wrists, your fingers, all is good. But if inside you feel not big enough, then it will all feel um, a little bit empty, uh, superficial. Let me show you what I mean. And this is like a, a good actually example because it's hard for me to play bad. Um, so also, <laughs> if you with this playing would try to compensate the deficiency of this tone, you might start pressing the key uh, harder. So we all know it only ends up with playing with harsh tone, with having injuries. So in reality, what we need is to feel more powerful inside, to bring more energy to our inner sensations. Um, and to start with, I would really suggest you to sing out loud uh, what you are playing to actually check what you feel inside while playing. And don't be surprised if your singing would sound uh, rather this way. <laughs> Limited and very, very shy, maybe, and small. So we need to come from this singing to this singing. <laughs> Something like this. I'm not teaching vocal, guys, but I, we have to have this feeling inside, okay? Thank God nobody's gonna hear us, but we have to have this inside. So when you have this energy, when you have this stone, this sensation inside, then you're really ready to play, and when you play... that you make externally will just convey what you feel inside. So nothing will be felt empty anymore. So now let's get started. Start with imagining the pitch of every note with movement, with glissando, just like this, but without any dynamics. Then imagine hands together equally by speeding up time between lines. add intonation, small clip about it. So how to make intonation? So we're gonna start again with singing out loud, making a sound, but this time with a good resistance. Uh, with a good resistance. Make sure that your voice still remains free while singing. So you're not singing but this way. 
So you can start with helping yourself with uh, another hand and sing it together and a little bit, you know, hold this hand back. And then try to make the same with singing internally. This is really the best exercise to feel this natural resistance without unnecessary pressure in your voice. So you would sing. Then add weight to your intonation again, small clip about it. So weight is not a pressure, weight is not a heaviness, it's really opposite, it's like you are, you just free, you like uh, soaring somewhere in the universe, it's, it feels very very free and relaxed. So this is the free energy that we are aiming to find in our body and then transfer to the instrument. So I suggest to start with this simple exercise away from the piano uh, to feel body weight, to feel transferring it to the keyboard, uh, which is going to be our knees. So uh, let's take a look. Uh, so it's very easy. You're going down, you feel weight over there. You're going up, you feel weight going f uh, along th through all your body like this. And then at the end, you lean a little bit forward and you feel like weight go through your palm to your knees. That's all. Just like this. No pressure. And uh, next step would be start singing as soon as you feel weight over here. So it feels like this. Inhale over here and then from here it's like a slide down, you know. <laughs> when you start feeling sliding down, you start exhale together with singing with your intonation. <laughs> Next step would be do the same in front of the piano. Uh, instead of bending forward, you just lean a little bit. So you substitute it with leaning forward. So you lean forward in the beginning, you get our weight, and then you lean forward again and start singing. <laughs> Again, substitute singing with playing. So as soon as you feel you start exhaling and ready kind of to sing, instead start lifting up your elbows and arms and start playing. So. so your singing will look this way. dynamics. So when you imagine notes, imagine it in a very loud, great resonant, rich, deep, full, uh, vibrant sound. And always remember the way we imagine sound, the way we play. So our imagination will affect our muscles, will affect our touch, will affect our tone. And so when you add intonation to that imagined sound and wait, this is what you get. Exactly the same singing I show in the beginning. And then when you play, so this is our powerful tone. And like I said, it's um, very simple exercise, but I really suggest you to start with this exercise just to grasp this idea. As soon as you get this feeling, then just try to apply it to everything you play. And if you play, for example, something like this. And then your teacher says, you know, it was a bit weak, you know, I need to be more powerful here, or maybe the tone was harsh. You know what to do, you know, you know just, you know, get in a frozen state trying to please your teacher somehow. You know that, okay, maybe I should improve my imagination, so go ahead and go home and try to imagine even louder. 
get it and then maybe even use even more weight while playing you know and so it will sound more this way through your whole, you know, movements, expression. I mean, people will feel it. All right, guys, um, enough of chatting. Um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.